Hey guys, we're going to be comparing the T700 versus the 990 Pro. The T700 has about 12,000 read, similar write. 990 Pro has about 7,500-ish read, similar write. I was using 990 Pro for a while, and then I elected to get the keep using the T700. Let's look at this chart that I made here. So we have the speeds of two compared here. These are basically more more comparisons so let's start off with boot time so when I first got the 990 Pro my computer booted in about 24 seconds <clears throat> and then implementing the T700 it started booting in 21 seconds so just off the bat <clears throat> now keep in mind the T700 uh, I had the 990 Pro 2 terabyte or, or 1 terabyte one of those and then the T700 I'm using the 2 terabyte right now and this is what uh, 3 seconds faster about so right off the bat, you're seeing a difference of three seconds-ish firing up Photoshop. Now, Photoshop, you know, two seconds to open with the 990 Pro, and then about 1.4 seconds. And if you come over here, I kept testing it. 2.2, 1 1.8, so 2.73. So um, either way, it's about twice as fast. I'm happy with that. And then I load it, and that's just right in, just right into the dashboard of Photoshop. And then I loaded about a two gigabyte file, just from not open yet. So you see, it's PC not open yet. Took about 21 seconds for the 990 Pro to open, and then 15 seconds, and that's totally worth it. I mean, considering that the T700 on sale is about $200, and the 990 Pro on sale is about $150. I mean, $50 for an extra. Five seconds, uh, six seconds, totally. I mean, it doesn't seem like very much, but here's the thing. Here's the thing I consider. <clears throat> I consider that I want to do everything I can do to make sure the computer can think faster, kind of like think as fast as you can, almost. I mean, it won't be able to in some things, right? But like moving files, it's just this matter of loading and thinking and being productive at work, or just in your job, or whatever it is you're doing. Right, so we've got about 20 seconds here, same file, 15 seconds, so about five seconds faster to load. I think that's that's pretty great. Coming over here to Rust Games, so this is significant, I think, about 10 seconds faster to load into the dashboard, uh, firing this up, and then loading into a random server, about the same, a few seconds faster, It's it's always been faster, it looks like just firing up a server it's about five or six seconds set faster which honestly i mean if you're trying to get back in get in front of someone you know it's totally worth it you got free six seconds there uh this is the game i built ruction about twice as fast getting into the configuration screen and then about the same time going into main menu about the same time starting the game so that's worth noting. StarCraft II, a little bit faster, game dashboard. Then we've got, uh, I did notice that a lot of times it's actually, it actually performs fast when you close too, which I think is also important when you want to shut it down. You're sitting there waiting for a program to close, just close, you know. Alternatively, you could just go into Task Manager and just shut it down, but either way, 3D Mark. Let's see. Uh, did not to so it was a, it was similar. 3D Mark opening it. It's pretty a beast program to open for some reason. Forty seconds to open. That's that's a lot. But it was a few seconds faster. Maybe five seconds faster to load with the T700 than uh, we got Battle.net firing up dashboard. A few seconds faster. So overall, you can see that it's definitely faster. Let's see, uh, Adobe Substantial Substance Painter, about twice as fast. But then I loaded other things in, like it loaded some textures inside. It took a few seconds, uh, about the same, I think. What was it? Uh, yeah, uh, about the same, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. So, and then we've got InDesign, about twice as fast to load. So you can see overall, you know, again, it's about twice as fast app store simple things 
uh, video editing, uh, install, you know, maybe. Uh, start program the dashboard. Here we go. So five to eight seconds. But then again, I'm pretty sure it loaded quickly as well another time. So that's kind of a toss up. Although it, oh, I will say that the T700 has never been slower than the 990 Pro. I don't think in any situation, regardless of all the testing. So it's always faster or about the same. And considering it's really not that much more expensive, I mean, if you consider the value, $50 more compared that the the actual card or the actual chip is $200, uh, not really the value, but you know, you, you pay a little bit more to get a little bit faster. I think it's fine. Uh, then these other things were pretty similar, but, but overall, um, real life uses. And of course, if you look at the stats, you fire up crystal disc or whatever it's called. Uh, it's definitely faster. You'll get about 12,000 read, uh, 12,000 write with the T700. And the 990 Pro has its about 7,400, 7,500 read, write. But overall, I got it for about $200 on Amazon. I think it's worth it. I kept it. But there you go. Those are real life real life loads, just overall, just random workstation stuff, few games here and there, but overall the T700 is definitely faster. And by the way, you have to have a Gen 5 motherboard that supports the T700 because you can't fire it up in like a Gen 4 motherboard. So you'd have to literally get a whole new motherboard if you didn't have a Gen 5 motherboard already. Worth noting, by the way. So you can't just throw it in any random slot, you know, uh, you have to have a specific support. All right. That's all we got. Go with the T700.